Hey guys, Trent Gunnell here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get some work done for the upcoming deer season. If you look behind me here, we got some uh, logs we got to split. Got the splitter here in the tractor. Got my brother over there, Jared. Uh, you've seen him in some other videos. Uh, we just, uh, the deer season's right around the corner, so it's coming fast. So we're going to try to get a lot of this split and load it up on this big trailer. And then we're going to get some uh, dog proof traps uh, pressure washed up and then maybe uh, build a extension to our cook station at deer camp so y'all stick around with us uh, never put off tomorrow to what you can do today I think it's the saying is that how it is Jared and uh, anyway daylight's burning so y'all stick around
demo shot right here. Watching this thing go to work. Some real solid wood right here. You can hear that thing whine every now and then. All right, got a pretty good little start. Still got a lot, lot to go though.
break from splitting the wood right now. My brother's still down there doing it, but uh, we got to multitask. We got to get other things done. So what this is all about here is we got some dog proof traps and uh, once you use them for a while, they get rusty and need to be cleaned up. So we're going to fix them on a piece of wood where we can pressure wash them real good and clean them up. Uh, these dog proof traps are designed where, you know, a dog's paw is too big to get in there. So it's, that's why they're called dog proofs. But they're all nasty and rusty, so we gotta separate them and clean them. And the way we're gonna do that is, we have this drill with a few bits, and then uh, my mindset is this board right here, I'm gonna drill some holes in there. We have 11 of those traps. Drill some holes in the, in the board here, this piece of uh, OSB, stick the traps through there, and then that'll hold them all. And then we can come out here and lay them on the concrete or the grass ain't decided yet and uh, pressure wash them. All right. All right, all I'm gonna do is just kind of space these out. I have, like I said, 11 of them. So I'm gonna do six on one row, five on the other. So I'm gonna kind of lay out a little deal where I can face them like I want to. You don't have to be perfect. Just space them out however you want to space them. Five on this row. Okay. All right, let's get to drilling some holes. We finished drilling the holes, so next thing we're gonna do is just place the traps in the holes. Let me get them all going here. Couple of them got bigger ends, so I have to maybe hammer them in. Alright. Two of them have a bigger end on there, like an arrowhead, so I drilled a little bit bigger hole, see if I can hammer them in here or wedge them in here. Need to get a hammer, hold on. Mallet. There. Okay, that's got that. Okay guys, all I've done now is hook up the pressure washer. I laid my board with my traps on it right here. So I'm fixing to crank this thing up, get to cleaning.
Okay, as you can see, we just got through blowing them off, so now we're going to put them in the bucket, and that wraps this little project up. Okay, on to the next project. All right, we're starting to lay out some tools. Got some scrap wood, left and right, skill saw, miter box, uh, tape measure, drill, deck screws, saw horses. Okay, guys, we're off to the next project. We're gonna build a uh, roof extension for our cook station at Deer Camp. It's going to be two foot by eight foot long and the best thing way I can do is just show you how I drew it out on this board and see if you can follow along with me. So it's basically going to be eight foot long, two foot wide, First thing we're going to do is measure out these long runners, eight foot long. 96 inches. All right, and we're going to cut them. Okay, now we're cutting board number two, the second eight footer. Okay, in this next section, we're gonna cut a few of the middle braces. They gotta be 21 inches long because they're gonna fit on the inside. And two two by fours together like this measures three inches. So we gotta subtract three inches because we want it two foot wide so we're subtracting three inches so we're going to cut 21 inch braces for the middle. All right, I've got them marked. Here we go. Another one marked somewhere around here. Oh well, we'll remark it. I don't know what happened to it. 21 inches. So we have three 21 inch braces. Now we gotta have, well, we can have two for the outside at different length. We can all make them the same. We'll make them the same. We'll cut two more at 21. Number 
I normally <laughs> screw screws into the other way, but I'm trying to let you be able to see. This is how I normally do it right here. I guess I'll do it this way. Okay, there's the finished product. I got some two by sixes right here and they're overkill for these 90 degree braces I'm gonna build. So I'm gonna rip them down the middle, like two and three quarters down the middle. So here we go. I've already done some of them, so. trick I do when you don't have nobody to help hold stuff, I screw the wood down to the saw horse and it helps make it easier. Let's do another one. I went ahead and prefab these two pieces up, these two 90s. So let's take a look, a closer okay, look. Like I said, I prefab these up. So we got two runners here, they're 24 inches. These two pieces are 22 inches and a half, I believe. I think these are 31 three quarters. <clears throat> so let's screw them together. Slide this out of the way. done is taking that two by eight little frame I built and set it up on the saw horses and then we've had two pieces of uh, red scrap sheet metal and we uh, overlapped it because we don't feel like cutting it you know plus you don't want it to leak in between so anyway we've overlapped it right there in the middle where you see right here is all the screws laid out we're gonna have three there three there three there three there and three there so we're gonna screw this thing down. All right, we've overlaid these pieces of metal. Let's fasten it down.
missed on that one. This is the completed uh, roof extension on our cook station. So you got the, the 90 degree elbow on the left side, and this is from the underside here. And then you have the 90 degree elbow on the right side. We got it overhung six inches on each side. In case you're wondering why it's overhung there more than on this side right here, is because we got to overlap it with our pre-existing cook station. So as you can see, it's overhung there too, six inches. Project, so I was gonna show you how much wood we have here. Pretty good little pile. What I did is that uh, that roof I built just a while ago, that extension, we put it right there, and when we ready, get ready to go down, we'll pull a four wheeler in the middle. Got the two little 90 degree braces right there. So pretty good little bit. Guys over here working hard right here. Jared and Jeff. We have a pile of wood right here. Still got a bunch of logs back here that they got to get to eventually. Big logs. But anyway, all right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next video.